Welcome to the Super Facts Show on the Super Facts Network. Featuring St. Laz, who also hosts the popular web series Gem Pop and music journalist Mark Walter Ward. They have discussions about hip hop, culture, society, philosophy, and everything else. Now available on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts. What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Walter War, Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. We're doing a quick bite with Cameron Carty, greatest engineer of all time. How you doing today, brother? Good, my brother. Good. How are you? I'm chilling, chilling. Um, so I'm, doing, I'm doing extra good since I heard this new Lil Donald song. You, you dropped another pro, another song from your project. You know, you just had the, the banging all female posse cut, Get Along. Check that out everywhere. Just an amazing collection of talented uh, female singers and rappers. And now you're right back with uh, Lil Donald, Super Peach. You, you made, who, who made this beat? This beat is sick for the guitar, Bro, so, everything. So, so my boy, 300 Cam, he made the beat. I've been sitting on that beat for fucking four years, bro. I've been sitting on that beat for four years. I got that beat um, when I was recording with Yes Jules in Hawaii. But I just, I didn't, I, I didn't have a good time to use it. And when me and Lil Donna linked up, I was like, yeah, this, this, that, this, that perfect one for Lil Donna, you know, because Lil Donna got a good pain music, and good real life music. And, I knew he was going to go in on that. And originally it had, uh, that bitch had uh, Pap Chanel on it. But um, I guess through label shit, whatever, like she couldn't, she couldn't drop it. So I ended up calling Super Peach and got Super Peach on there. And she, she, she sang, I thought she was going to rap on it, but she sang on it, which made it better. So she went crazy on it. And little Donald, he always went, goes crazy. I, anything he does, I support. He supports what I do, so. I think she made a good decision singing though, because like I ain't trying, nah, to, be, I ain't trying to be cliche, but like Lil Donald part, like like you, you tell us Parkfield, like he means that shit, and and, right. and, 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 and like the way she sang kind of like balanced it perfectly, and and, that, and that's what made me want to ask about the guitar, because you know that that it's, it's just a synchronicity to the whole thing. I felt you know that not a lot of people use guitar like that in hip hop, especially right. you know like 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 on, on you know some trap shit, some gangster shit, some country rap tunes. You know, that right. usually that might be more like some backpack shit or some shit, you know. But but, but I, I love yeah. it. I'm, I, I always want more guitar, more keyboard, more saxophone, you know. Nah, she, Super Peace did her thing on that for sure. Like, she went crazy on that. I, I, I definitely, would, like, thinking back, like, I was 100% support the decision of singing on it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like now she would have rapped on it. I don't think it would have been as hard as that how she did come out with it. And I mean, and it's it's only been out what like twenty four hours or so. Like you get you get a think, major response to that. Yeah, it's been out like uh, about thirty hours. Yeah, something like that. Like shoot, it's been like a day and a half. Running up the numbers, and it's going crazy. It's going crazy. I think it's like twelve thousand on Spotify, a couple thousand on Apple Music, and like six thousand on the video on YouTube. Uh, it's going, yeah, it's steadily going up, steadily. And then, you know, before we get out of here, well, what, what's the next, what, what you got coming out next? So so on this next one I'm dropping, that's, that, that, that's, my, that's my haymaker. I'm dropping, uh, I'm dropping May 1st. Yeah, May 1st. It's, uh, it's this joint with Fujiano, Lil Nar, and uh, Yak Gotti. Um, I kind of, I kind of did the little ten seventeen YSL, and then a little Norris crazy ass fan base. Like, I just, I, I figured that's gonna be a hitter right there. And then I got a a remix, a remix to that song with Riff Raff and Molly Brazy on there. So I just on the remix, I just thought go as crazy as possible. But on that that uh the original with Yak Gotti and Lil Nar. And I shot a, I got a video too. Like we couldn't do a video because Fujiano, he he was on the run and shit for a while. I mean, if they got they got a hold of him, he's locked up now. But he was on the run for a while. And Yak got it. He was on house arrest. So like it was gonna be hard as shit to shoot a video. So we just did a, a cartoon video. My boy out in Russia, he he drew it out and everything. Like did the whole nine on 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 the cartoon. So 
that drops the same day, March May first. Yeah, that's what's up. Hell yeah, it's I, hard. I, I watch the cartoon videos. Yeah, little bro's hard too. He uh, he don't speak any English, so I had to like type out all the words, and it's, it's, <laughs> I had to sit there through the yak Gotti's verse trying to like decipher what the fuck he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but he went hard for sure. I ain't telling him what to do on the video. I ain't giving him no direction. All I did was give him the lyrics. Man, he probably yeah. rushed. He probably rushed to spin big trap talk. <laughs> Bro, hell yeah. yeah. He got that joke like, hey, I got them birds. <laughs> hell yeah. And what was crazy is I got, I, I found him from a video on Worldstar. So, because I've been hitting, I've been looking for a cartoon video, video dude for forever. And these folks were saying like, a thousand dollars a minute and all this shit like that. And I'm like, damn, this is a damn near four minute song. I ain't about to pay no four thousand dollars for a four minute song. And he charged me a thousand dollars for uh the whole thing. Made little them little gifts, whatever you call them. A couple of them, like he did that, that dude went crazy. Shit, that's what's up. I am I'll make sure to tag him when, when that go up. But shit, brother, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to the, the whole project and, and, and the two songs. So and then, far, bro, and high. then, and then after that, you know, after I'm going every single month. So after that, I got one with uh, Keisha Day, that's Gucci's new artist, and Young Ralph. We got them on one together. And then right Shout after that, Young Ralph. I got one. Got one with Cap G. And then right after that, Derez Deshaun. So. Like, yeah, I'm dead ass. Like, going crazy this year. I'm trying to take DJ Khaled's spot. Shit. I, it, it, I, I think you're well on the way. I remember I remember when you said you wanted to get a blue check, and that shit sure enough happened. Right, right. Exactly, past. right. Exactly, yeah. right. You be manifesting that shit, brother. That's what's up. Hey, when I say it, I'm, I'm going to do, do my damn best to do it. No doubt. Well, shit, man, thank you for your time. Hey, man, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you and uh, all the support you got for me, bro. Oh, shit, it's my pleasure. Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. Yes, sir. The Super Facts Network, home of Jet Pop, SDE, and The Super Facts Show, now available on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from. Come check out St. Labs, G from the Shop, and Mark Waldo Ward.